Μπορεί να πω ότι χρειάζεται. Το μίξερ. Να, ναι. Ναι, όταν είπα στο μίξερ, ναι, τώρα θυμήθηκα ότι χρειαζόμαστε και μίξερ. Οκ, λοιπόν. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm here with Danai. Hello! And we will make the Christmas Greek cookies. Sure. Are they cookies? Yeah. Yes. What yes, else are cookies. they? Yeah, the cookies. Cr they're crumbly and they're like butter cookies, kind of. And uh, we call them kurabiedes. We also can call some kurabiedes, but this is a completely different subject. The recipe is uh, from uh, Akis uh, Petredzikis which is a very famous uh, cook in Greece right now. I would say he's the Jamie Oliver uh, of Greece. Yes. He is really nice. He has uh, traditional recipes, but he adds his own twist. And he I think modernizes them. Exactly. Yeah, like Without ruining them, though. Mm. Like, That's he true. really That's makes true. it nice. I will put his link in the description box. Uh, he has all his recipes in Greek, and I will definitely link you to this recipe so you can also make it. And English. Did they say green? <laughs> Let's start. I have the recipe on my phone. We never do that. We barely. Yeah. We do that. That's true. We have left the butter in room temperature for at least, uh, I think now it's been two and a half hours. Uh, so it's soft. Uh, I have already over roasted <laughs> our almonds uh, that uh, they are supposed to be 200 grams, but um, they're probably 196 because I had a couple. Just make sure that your almonds are uh, cooled uh, down, so just uh, make them uh, an hour ahead and uh, you can even leave them in the balcony if you live in the Netherlands, so they will cool off really fast. We also have prepared our oven in uh, the air uh, setting and I have it on for a long time because I like to have my oven really, really hot. Now we'll start with mixing. I think I ordered this uh, from Locker, 30 uh, euro uh, mixer and it's really nice. I don't do extreme yeah, baking. Okay. Yeah. Mix the butter. When I was a child, I loved helping my mom make uh, cakes and stuff. That's why you still bake and make things. But it's good and bad because I bake, but then I eat it. You eat it. But that's I eat it. This is gonna make around 50 pieces. I thought it was around 30, but. Uh, Surprise! Ho, ho, ho. Now we have uh, mixed uh, the butter for five minutes on high speed and it looks creamy and white. It must be looking like that. At the same time, uh, we weighed uh, the sugar. I will have to mix them and uh, continue mixing for the next 10 minutes. The mix looks like uh, whipped cream, mm -hmm. French chantilly, I don't know how uh, you call that. Now we will add a vanilla. In the recipe it says to put like two, two boxes, like two small boxes, but that's the way we have it in Greece. Mm -hmm. But here they only have the, the little... Zakis? Yeah. We calculated with our experience <laughs> that the two boxes of the Greek vanilla there are, I think, two small spoons. There is like uh, one for the dessert and one for the tea. Get for the tea one, you want a small one. And it's like uh, three-fourths of it. 
So using almond extract, he says uh, amaretto, which is like the bitter almond, but that's not so easy to find. So if you use almond, it's uh, still fine. Oh, it smells so good. Yeah. But don't eat it. I have half of uh, the same spoon of this. Now we get uh, a rose water. If you are in the Netherlands and uh, you are looking for it, the only place I could find it, at least I could find it, was in Albert Heijn and you go into the kind of um, oriental middle eastern section where there is a couscous and uh, some chickpeas, uh, that's where I found it. It also smells fantastic, I want to drink it. So you add one spoon of this too. Make sure they're cold. Add the slowly the flour and mix it with a spatula. Okay. I have this spatula and I think it's from uh, it's from Ikea actually, and I love it. <laughs> Two weeks later. The end product. Not yeah. The end product. The, the pre-baking end product. Oh, it smells so good. It smells so good. Mm -hmm. right? So now we'll start preparing the cookie itself. It's good if you have a scale, so they can be around 30 grams each. Akis uh, suggests that it's in uh, the size of a walnut. Just remember that you press them a little bit with your finger, so at the end uh, the powder sugar uh, sits and that they don't break during uh, the baking. Let's uh, start. I <laughs> <laughs> In Greek, you can call someone kurabies, which is this thing. And I think it has a negative connotation. Is it connotation or connotation? Connotation. Okay. Right? It means like you are like, boring, kind of like... Bullies. Bullies? But he was attached to his mommy and he doesn't really make decisions for himself and he dresses in a very certain Wait. way. What was uh, the movie? Uh, the guy's the president and then he meets like a really regular girl and I think that's Sandra Bullock if I'm not uh, mistaken. Mm. Oh, oh my dear. god, uh, what's his name? But I want you to know that it's not the guy I put up yes. You mean Hugh Grant? Yes! Hugh Grant. <laughs> he is a good up yes. No, Hugh Grant is not a good up yes. The baking paper. The sheet. The, the oven box. The drain. It's full, so we're gonna put it in. And it needs to go in 180 degrees for 30 to 35 minutes until they get a golden brown uh, color. Uh, be careful, don't overbake them because they're butter cookies, they dry out and they become crumbly when they cool off. But yeah, Hugh Grant, he's cute but he's boring. He's in... Good friendship, same taste in article, different taste in Exactly, exactly, I also read that. years later. Our first load is done. A second load just came out. We bake them around uh, to the 20 to 25 minutes, but that is because they already got that golden uh, brown color and they don't need to be overcooked. Probably it took shorter because uh, the oven uh, was uh, really warm. So although you might put the timer on as I did, you should keep an eye on them and make sure that they don't overcook. When you take them out, be careful because they're very hot, number one. Number two, they're very soft, so don't like do it with light hands so you don't squish them. This 
slow that uh, has uh, cooled down. We will sprinkle it with uh, some uh, rose water. So the first batch now is completely cool. And uh, now I will sprinkle it with uh, some powder sugar. Us, uh, making uh, the curapiedas. We think we succeeded. Uh, we hope uh, you also think they look uh, good. We do uh, suggest that you try them. They're fun, right? Yes, and they're delicious. And they're easy. In Christmas Eve. Yeah, they're white, it's like snow. We always eat them in yeah. Christmas. So it's nice and also I think it's uh, if you want to surprise your uh, friends or you go to an international uh, Christmas dinner, you can bring them mm -hmm. some cookies and uh, you can impress them with your cooking skills. If you do make the cookies, send me some photos. We want to see and we can rate them if you like. And we also, if we have enough entries, that's also very important. <laughs> and uh, we'll see you in the next video and uh, we hope you liked. Bye! 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 <laughs> Φύγει από εδώ. Δεν ξέρω γιατί είμαι στο σπίτι με αυτό το κορίτσι. Δεν γνωρίζω ποια είναι αυτή.